everybody so today is going to be a productive day in my life i have got up this morning we're going to head straight to the gym just to get the workout done and out of the way first thing in the morning today is leg day so i'm going to be doing like a little leg session which i'm really excited about so let's head to the gym let's warm up the car because it is so freezing cold i, I don't think i can deal with this time of year to be honest like it is so cold <laughs> Going all to different places, different planets But your aura passed me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty like, 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 like. You want some love, you like when you feel like calling me so i'm back from the gym and i just hopped in the shower and washed my hair it was just a little bit too greasy for my liking so i was like you know what I'm gonna wash my hair. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner at the moment. It's the Red Ken Extreme Anti-Snap Treatment. The gym was really good today. Like I really did enjoy today's session. It was a little bit busy, which I wasn't kind of expecting for that time, but it did get quieter like as my session went on. I do feel so much better when I actually get my workout in first thing just because it's done, ticked off the list. It is hard like going to the gym and like getting yourself out there, especially when it's like winter. But once you've got it done, that's ticked off for the day. Yeah, you just feel so accomplished. Now I'm just gonna pop on some serum and some moisturizer. And that is my skincare pretty much done. Mm. I just love ice cold water i'm gonna sit down and do some stuff on my laptop but i thought i would quickly take a turmeric shot and make myself a coffee as well just because i just really fancy like a nice warm vanilla latte like i just feel like that would be like really nice i've still been taking these little turmeric shots from the turmeric co when i take one of these first thing in the morning my digestion is so much better and also it just kind of like sets me up for like a healthy day i don't know what it is but i feel like when you start the day with something a little bit healthy like a smoothie or like a bowl of fruit or in my case like a shot it's just like i don't know it just sets you up for the day um and i find these i've mentioned these so many times before but these just help keep my skin clear like so much let's make a coffee now i did have my coffee machine downstairs in the room but it's just so messy because you have to like grind the beans and like rinse it all out so now we've got the coffee machine up in the kitchen which is nice so i feel like i've been using it a lot more as much as i love the coffee machine like when you have to grind your own beans and they then like tamp it and just do all that coffee stuff it is quite messy and does take a little bit of time. So yeah, we're gonna make a coffee now. So I was putting on some makeup and then I literally had a call in like five minutes. So I quickly finished my makeup and didn't even say anything. Um, but I did my hair, did my makeup, and then I've just been on calls and filming the rest of this morning. I'm gonna sit down now, get some actual work done on my laptop because it is that time and I just need to get my head down. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Then I'll probably have some food because I am starving. So I'm just gonna get some editing done, everything like that. And yeah, it's just like a productive work day today. I started picking off my nail polish. I just really need to take it off now because look how bad that looks. Please ignore it. <laughs> So 
so it's now about half one and I'm getting quite hungry so I thought I would have some quick lunch um nothing I was gonna make something like quite fancy for lunch I don't know like a big salad bowl or something but I just feel like I'm running out of time today so I'm gonna just have this pasta pot which I bought myself from Asda it's literally just this chicken one it's so delicious i feel like i have been quite productive though which is good um but yeah gonna eat some lunch now and then we've got some more calls this afternoon today is like a really kind of like meeting heavy day so i always struggle i don't know if anyone else finds this when you've got lots of like calls and stuff like i find it so hard to get focused and get stuff done because always in the back of my mind i'm just like waiting for that call to happen so yeah i do always like struggle a little bit when i've got like calls to do but yeah that's the plan of action so have some lunch do a bit more work and then meetings <laughs> So we've got a 10 minute gap now and then I'm on another call this afternoon um, and then we're done for calls for the day and then I just need to do some more editing afterwards. That'll be pretty much the work day done. It's starting to get dark already, like I don't know if you can probably tell, um, but part of me loves the dark cosy evenings but also when it's getting dark at like 4 o'clock, it's like half of your day is like in the dark isn't it? But I still need to do some work so we're going to carry on with that for a little bit longer. Then I've got some washing to short sort out not my favorite task but i have done the washing it's just like clean washing that needs to be put away so i need to sort that out and we have this big unit which i think i showed you in a video before let me just quickly show you it's just this one here which is so messy but it is so good for storage like putting things away like you can just sort of tuck it in the shelves but it is looking very messy so i kind of need to sort that out but that is literally where all our clothes are like all our stuff is in this storage unit without it i don't know where we would have put the stuff to be honest it's super handy having it here at mum's house also me and jasper have been having soup for dinner which i feel like is the most boring dinner like if anyone had told me that i'd be eating soup for dinner like a couple of months ago i'd be like what but it's so nice so we basically been getting we had it for we had it for dinner last night that's why it's like fresh in my mind but we just got like fresh soups from asda i think it was just like a covent garden one or i can't remember the make of it then we got like this part baked baguette of bread and you pop it in the oven and then when it comes out it's literally like freshly cooked bread part baked bread is honestly so good so it just comes out all fresh and then you dip the fresh bread into like the warm soup <gasps> so good we did have that for dinner last night so i don't know what the plan for dinner tonight is to be honest but anyway enough soup talk i probably should join this call now <laughs> just finished all my calls and pretty much all of my work for the day i've still got a little bit left to do which i might do a bit later on um but i'm feeling really like gross and sweaty don't know if anyone else finds this but i feel like i always need two showers a day like two at least two body showers i love having a shower at the end of the day because it feels like i just sort of wash the day away but then if i have a shower in the morning like after the gym obviously i'm gonna need a shower after the gym so i end up having two showers a day which i just don't I don't know if that's good for you is that good for you is that normal is that normal to have two showers a day no, let me know but anyway i think i'm gonna shower wash off my makeup then get into some more cozy clothes just some, like a big oversized hoodie i think i don't think i've shown you how cute my phone case is i just got it from case defy but it's like a little travel phone case which i thought was like the cutest thing well that was like 65 pound for a phone case which i don't know is that a little bit pricey i feel like it's a little bit expensive but to be fair if it protects your phone well then it's worth the money but i've never had a case to fly case before i'm just doing like my evening skincare now i'm just, I'm just putting on some 0.5 percent retinol and rosehip seed oil i love rosehip seed oil i don't actually know what it does but it just makes my skin so smooth so moisturized i'm obsessed but this one's got a bit of retinol in i always forget to do this but i just love how it feels it's so nice Just a little bit of moisturiser and that is my skin hair done. I don't know how this has happened, but somehow I've ended up in bed. Um, yeah, I was literally so cold, so I was like, mm, I'll get in bed for a second. And then I was like, mm, maybe I'll watch a couple of YouTube videos and now I'm 
permanently in bed so I do need to get up and sort out my washing I said I was gonna do that but instead I got myself some blueberries which I ate I got myself some water and I got myself a Pepsi Max so I'm literally living the dream over here in bed but I'm trying to be productive today so I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit and then we will sort out washing all of that kind of stuff the stuff that needs to actually get done so yeah it is cold though like how how are you guys finding it getting out of bed in the morning because it is just freezing like it's that type of weather where you literally just as soon as you step out of the bed you're cold like when you're in bed all like wrapped up all cozy like it's the best but it's just too cold to function at the moment isn't it just was here back from work what you got here then? Just got a little Christmas ditty bag hamper. from. Oh, you actually get a basket of it. Oh yeah, Christmas hamper from work. Yeah. This is what's in it. So we've got some crisps, some little sun-dried tomato biscuits. These are nice. Some Christmas nuts. This is so cute. Christmas pickle. Some truffles. This is. Should we put it back in here? Shortbread reindeer bites. Wow. The luxury mince pies. Not just any mince pies. Luxury. luxury. Anything uh, interesting to add? I ain't got shower haircut. Nice. Fresh. Got and you got a goodie bag. One week of work left. That's so crazy. And I'm out. See you later. Done. You're done. Forever. Bye. Well, until we're back from travels. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's in the distant future. Jasper's also currently in bed. But I'm now up from bed. And I've also out the washing. Got loads of your boxes in here. You can sort them out. What about socks? Because you always mm. neglect the socks. Apparently, yeah. Apparently, I always never put any of his boxes and socks in the wash. Yeah. But I do. You do. The evidence speaks for itself. Jasper's number one hate is doing the washing. Whenever it comes to no, like... No, 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 no. Number one hate is doing the weekly shop. Oh, yeah. To be fair, that is his... I find weekly shop isn't too bad. Like, sometimes I really can't be bothered to do it. But other times I'm just like, mm, at least I can pick the snacks and stuff. But I can't believe that's your number one. I hate it. So your number two is the washing. I don't mind like putting it away in that because it's quite satisfying. Oh, you can do this then. Oh, no, 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 you can <laughs> What's actually your least favourite chores? Because I'd probably say mine is hand washing dishes. I don't know what it do is. You hand, just, you know, just touching dirty dishes. You don't even like putting them in the dishwasher. I genuinely think I am scarred from my years of working at Weatherspoons. So I worked at probably Weatherspoons for like two years or something when I was like 16 to 18, I think. Um, and it literally, the the state that the plates would come back in and then I have to scrape the plates off, obviously, all the like dirt, like gross food. And I think it's literally scarred me forever. So yeah, working in Mother Spoons did me dirty when it comes to that. My job was basically behind the bar when I turned 18, so I did that for a little bit. But then for most of my time at Spoons, I was just like clearing tables, like taking the food out, all of that stuff. And yeah, honestly, really did scar me. But I used to obviously go into the kitchen and get the food and some of the things that would happen in that kitchen makes me just feel ill. So yeah, I'd say that's my number one least favorite task is did you still work? No, you didn't still work there when we met, did you? I did still work there. Did you? Like, when we were like talking, I did for a little bit, but then after that I went to college, didn't I? Yeah, because I remember those days, I had to pay for everything. <laughs> yeah, so when I went, to, I went to college for literally like, what do you say, like three months? And then I dropped yeah, out. So like that. Because I just wasn't really enjoying it and I was so far away from home, so I was just like, I'm going to leave. And that's when me and Jasper first started getting together. And... Yeah, it was like, I because I didn't have a job, I had a bit of savings. Did I have any savings? Mm, yeah, like, you did, but not like Not like ones that I'd want to use, yeah. Um, so Jasper used to like pay for everything. And I remember one weekend he came up and you must have spent so much money. I spent like 1,500 quid. You'd literally like pay for everything, but you'd also be like, oh, no, 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 it's fine. Like, I'll pay for it. So I was like, okay. Yeah, back then I was, <laughs> back then I was earning... Way less money than I am now, but I was just ripped. I didn't have anything to pay for. Yeah, when you get older, you start to pay for more bills, everything. I have paid you back since, though. Yes, I have. 
I've definitely paid for way more things than you. And now our money's quite... Way of... more? Yeah. Whoa, I don't know about that. It all works out evenly eventually. Oh, I, don't, I don't care. I don't regret spending all that money. Yeah, to be fair, I literally thought like, oh my god, this guy's so rich. <laughs> yeah, reality's born in a pun though. <laughs> now he's spent all the money, he can barely put petrol in. <laughs> Anyone who's got a punt out right there, top motor. So that is the washing all sorted out. <laughs> oh, Jasper's slowly dying over there. Um, but what I think we're going to do now is go make some dinner. Not entirely sure what we're going to have. I feel like I need to look in the fridge and kind of McDonald's, just like... McDonald's, Jasper wants McDonald's. But... McDonald's, McDonald's. We can have that on like a Friday or a Saturday. I feel like yeah, weekday. Yeah. Just not it. So I'm going to have a look in the fridge, see what stuff we can make for dinner. I remember that to you, 14th of December, five years ago. The Snapchat filter five years ago. You look the same. Yeah, I do. I just got a better beard. <laughs> I can't believe. Like, it's so crazy. We've been together five years. Where has the time gone? But then also, like, I don't know if anyone ever... I don't know if any other couples find this, but, like, I cannot remember what my life was like before we met. Like, what did I used to do in the evenings? Just, like, hang out by myself? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Also, for any of you guys wondering how Jasper's Christmas do went, if you watched my previous video, what time did you get home? Go on, boys. 4 a.m. Yeah, it's like 10 past 4 or something. Yeah, and he like rings me because he hasn't got a key. And I said, like, ring me if you want picking up or anything. And he rings me that he hasn't got a key. So I go unlock the door and then you come in and you're like. <laughs> You literally fall asleep straight away. Of course I like, do. Like instantly, and I'm just there, like yeah, trying I'm, to get comfy I'm again. Clean my teeth, got undressed, hopped in the bed. That's it. I'm out. Done. Done for the night. Um, but yeah, clearly a very successful Christmas day. Yeah, it was quite fun to be fair. Although you were so hungover the next day. Yeah, well, I was mildly had a bit of a cold, didn't I? And then I obviously went out, and I think it just made the hangover. And then it also just made my illness ten times worse. Yeah. It was bad. Not good, but... So um, I ain't recovered now. You still got, like, a slight cold. I feel mm. like everyone's, like, getting colds and, like, ill at the moment. It's that time of year, isn't it? Yeah. So for dinner tonight, we've decided we're going to have this um, a thin and crispy fajita chicken pizza. It's actually quite a big pizza, so me and Jasper are going to share this for dinner. This is such a lazy dinner, but... I'm trying to do pizza all day. Yeah, so we're just going to have this for tea. Look at how cheesy this pizza is. It's actually a really nice pizza. So that was the last thing I filmed. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it because it does really support my channel. And also subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos. And I hope you guys have a lovely Christmas if I don't speak to you before Christmas. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.